What's up, boys? We are back. You see the suit. You know the vibe. Today, we've got to get the subframe down. By any means necessary. I don't know what it's hooked up to, but we've got to get the subframe down and so we can continue to work. Because this car is this metal, right? I'm not even going to lie. This <laughs> uh... But it's pretty good because I've been coming down here every day so I know where everything goes. And I put the nuts back on where they go so I don't miss anything. So let's just get to work. All right, plan B. The motor mount is held on by three Torx. We're just gonna go after those. Set up to reach the bolt on the left side. I got a swivel extension and swivel head ratcheting wrench. way to get to the motor mount on the driver's side by just coming straight through the wheel well just like that So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this uh, wire, and then uh, that's it. So frame is done. Subframe is down. In the next episode, we're gonna start going after. Hold on, let me get a better. Give you guys a better view. What the heck is going on, man? Uh, this steering rack is might have to stay just like this. If I had it with this steering rack. Or maybe I can kind of zip tie it. 
or something so it's not dangling. If not, I'll just remove it. Okay, so we gotta remove the axle on the other side too. And then, as you can see, we have clear view of all the oil pan bolts. Ah. Oh, turbos. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next one. We're gonna come back, start removing how many, I think it's a one, two, three, four. And there's a couple of torques on the other side. And then we're gonna remove all these torques and the oil pan should come down. We are pretty much almost done. Hopefully the weather is just as nice as it is today. Because just like today, we we'll spend all day getting this oil pan off. The motor mounts don't look bad at all. They actually look pretty good. They're not smashed. So you go right back in there like so. This one's looking pretty good. Although, hey man, I would recommend you change them while it's down. But I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these bolts back on because it was really the weather lining in the car that was holding up the suffering. That's what it was. You make mistakes, man. But, keep on going. Let me find this one bolt and start tightening these little mounts back up. We got two here. So I'm going to tighten these up. They really don't take that much torque. I think like seven, seven foot pounds. They're not really on there that tight. Yeah, there's a lot to do. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you like what you see, click the like button. Subscribe to your boy. I'm out.